Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick audio tutorial video for Final Cut Pro. And this first tip is something I use quite a bit. So I have my video edited up to this point. And now I want to start with some drone video and just put some music behind it. So I'll look for uh, some video here. Drag it down. Let's find another piece. That looks good. Drag it down. And now I'm like, I need to add some music so I can edit the video along with the music, sort of keep it, you know, keep the flow going. So I'll get my music, drag it down to where it needs to be. So now I have the video and audio. Okay, so let's check it out. Pull it back. It's always good to edit your uh, video along with the audio, kind of with the beats. But let's say you have a couple of, uh, you've edited three or four clips down here, and you realize, well, I don't like this first clip. You can't just delete it. You can't just hit delete, because then the music goes away. So I'll hit undo. So a way I get around that, before I even lay this video down, so let me start from scratch. I'll delete those. I'll put my playhead right at the end of the video clip, and then just hit the back button one time. and then put the music there. So this clip is actually attached to the video clip before my next sequence starts. I'll drag some more video down and drag into the piece and then So that's good. So what if I don't like this first clip? I can actually delete it and the audio stays. It doesn't get deleted along with the first clip. Another way to do that is hit undo. If you, if you do happen to have this over here attached to the first clip, you can find the video that you want to use. Let's try this. Drag it down onto this clip and then let go. And it will say replace, replace from start, or replace from end. So if you like where you've trimmed it up properly up here, you like the, where the beginning, where the where it starts off or where it, where it ends, you would hit either hit replace from start or replace from end. If you just hit replace, it's going to you know, change the time of it. Hit undo, I'll do this again. Go down here, replace from start. It keeps the same length, so nothing changes. Another way to keep this audio from going away if you delete this clip so if I zoom in on the timeline, you'll see this blue line right here. It's, it's kind of hard to see here, but this is showing that the audio is attached to this clip. So if you want to change what this audio is attached to, hit Command Option and click the audio underneath where you want that video, that audio to, to sync to. So you go over here, see now this little blue line, it's actually attached to this one now. So if I delete this clip, the audio won't go away it just moves everything over. So you'll have to add another clip in there like that. And uh, of course everything gets moved around a little bit. But the first trick is one I, I use quite a bit. I always like to attach the audio to the clip right before my next scene starts. Another trick is to use the range selection tool, which is shortcut R on the keyboard. So let's say this one little section here is a little louder than the rest of it. Instead of manually making keyframes, select the range tool, start here and drag, and then put your cursor somewhere in between the range and drag down or up and it will automatically make the keyframes. So if I click off here, you can see the keyframes here. And if you need to move this over one way or the other, you just click on it, drag it. You can actually select multiple keyframes, drag to the left and the right. And one thing that's somewhat difficult about Final Cut is if you drag this down, it's really hard to be precise on where you want 
you know your levels to be so if you hit command and then drag it it slows everything down and it makes smaller increments of change basically and when I let go see moves up and down way too fast okay something new with uh, Final Cut Pro is the ability to dissolve audio from one clip to the other so for example I have this clip here and it goes into this clip has a little bit of a pop to it it's not much but it's there so the old way to dissolve clips together was to double click on the video or double click down here on the audio and you can drag this audio over and here's another tip for you if you want to fade audio out whatever it is music you can see this little this little dot right here you can drag this and you can actually right click on it and it gives you options for linear s curve plus 3 db gain or negative 3 db i always like to use that one and it'll fade it out and you'd have to do the same thing over here double click on it drag it along it dissolves the two audio clips together and it makes it sound a lot more smooth let me undo this and show you the new way to do this select the two clips you want to dissolve audio between and then hit option T now if you double click on it it does it automatically for you I'll do the same thing over here I'll show you again select this one select this one hit option T and presto there it is you can actually drag these farther back and it puts I think it puts an S curve it puts the S curve on if you want to change that to negative DB or linear you can this is a great way to make your audio have smooth transitions from one video clip to the other one last trick I'm going to show you is how to detach the audio to a video clip so let's say I have this video clip and I want to keep the audio but I don't want to keep the video so what you do is you right click on it you can expand the audio expand audio components but for this you want to detach the audio so now the audio is totally separate from the video so you can move the audio around and undo if you do delete the video since this audio is still attached to it right here it will delete it but if you move it over hit delete it's still there and then you would want to, of course add some other video clips in here so let me hit undo a couple times but let's say you want to keep this audio but you don't want to keep the video you want to add different video to it then make sure your audio is detached and let's just pick something up here drag it down so you can see how long the video clip is it's longer than the portion we need to replace so you would drag it down of course replace from start or from end whatever you want to do and it, it will replace that video with the exact length of the audio another way to adjust audio levels is click on whatever clip you want to adjust the audio in go up here in the inspector and there's video there's your color wheels and there is the audio and this is the volume control you can go up and down there you can add equalization here if you add something it automatically turns it on I always like to use loudness because it gives the audio a little bit of compression and uniformity which is always good if you have any noise noise removal could be an option I hardly ever use it doesn't really work that well I have used hum removal a few times if you have more than one channel of audio this is where you would turn those off it would say dialogue one and dialogue two you would turn whatever channel off that you didn't want to use so I hope this video helps if you have any questions leave a comment below make sure to subscribe to this channel and uh, be on the lookout for a lot more Final Cut Pro tutorial videos thanks for watching